In this video, I am going to discuss about difference between intramedullary and extramedullary spinal cord lesions. Let us first discuss about related anatomy. The spinal cord occupies the spinal canal. The ventral and dorsal roots join in the vertebral foramen to form the spinal nerve. The spinal cord is covered by meninges. Extensions of the dura mater that is dural sheaths surround the nerve roots and continue as epineurium of the spinal nerves. Space occupying lesions within the spinal canal can be divided into two groups. First one is intramedullary lesions arising within the substance of spinal cord which invade and destroy tracts and central gray structures. Examples are metastasis, astrocytoma, syringomyelia, ependymoma, hemangioblastoma, and rarely AV malformations. The second type that is extramedullary lesions arise outside the substance of spinal cord which are further divided into extradural that is arising outside the dura mater from vertebral bone and epidural tissues. For example, spondylosis, metastasis, vertebral lesions like osteomyelitis, epidural lesions like abscess hematoma and extramedullary hematopoiesis. Second type of extramedullary lesion is intradural which arises inside the dura mater but outside the spinal cord proper. Examples are neurofibroma, meningioma and rarely chordoma, lipoma and sarcoma. It is useful to differentiate intramedullary from extramedullary lesions. The differentiating features are only relative and serve as a rough guide to clinical decision making. Local or vertebral pain is common in extradural extramedullary lesions and unusual with intramedullary lesions. Radicular pain is common in extramedullary lesions especially the intradural ones and unusual in intramedullary lesions. The funicular pain or tract pain or central pain is common with intramedullary lesions. It is described as deep ill-defined poor localizing painful dysesthesia due to involvement of sensory tracts. It is less common in extramedullary lesions. UMN signs occur early with extramedullary lesions and late with intramedullary lesions. LMN signs are uncommon but if present are in segmental distribution in ex extramedullary lesions and in intramedullary lesions they are prominent and diffuse. Ascending progression of paresthesias is more common in extramedullary lesions and with early sacral involvement. Descending progression of paresthesias with sacral sparing and dissociate sensory loss is more common in intramedullary lesions. Vibration sense is more impaired than position sense in intramedullary lesions. Sphincter abnormalities are common and early with tumors in the conus medullaris and late with space occupying lesions affecting cord equina. Spinal lesions above conus either extramedullary or intramedullary tend to be associated with sphincter disturbances only with extensive bilateral cord damage. Thank you.